so first method can be we can group by the customer id and find that okay how many times they have bought a b and c so here ones and zeros does not mean hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the advanced sql 50 where we are trying to solve 50 advanced sql problems covering topics like select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins subqueries and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions in this video we are going to solve this question called customers who bought products a and b but not c and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the fourth video of the series called customers who bought products a and b but not c and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon and facebook kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called customers with two different columns customer id and name customer id is the column with unique values for this table and customer name is the name of the customer we are also given a second table called orders with three different columns order id customer id and product name order id is the column with unique values for this table customer id is the id of the customer who bought the product product name we are asked to write a solution to report the customer id and customer name of customers who bought products a and b but did not buy the product c since we want to recommend them to purchase this product return the result table ordered by customer id okay let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output so here the customer id 1 has bought products a b c and d so since the person has bought a b but also bought c so this should not be in our output customer id 2 has only bought a so this customer also does not qualify for our conditions then we have customer id 3 who has bought a b and d so obviously this person has bought a b but not c so this should be in our output and for customer id 4 the person has only bought c so in our output we need to have customer id 3 and the name of the person is elizabeth and that is what we have in our output okay so just by looking at it i can think of two methods that we can take to solve this question let me switch to excel to demonstrate this so first method can be we can group by the customer id and find that okay how many times they have bought a b and c so here ones and zeros does not mean yes or no here it means how many times they have bought it so zero means bought zero times and one means bought once okay so once we and this is how the solution will look like that from this orders if you group by customer id right and you return the customer id and here you can see that here you have to write a number of case when statements to get this type of table and from this you can simply say that okay wherever your bot a is not equal to zero bot b is not equal to zero but bot c is equal to zero what does this signify that the person has bought a and b but has not bought c return those customer id so obviously from this you can get this row as your output but you can think of it right if here you have only two conditions that bought a and b and not c but what if the question is generalized and the person asks like okay bought a b c d e f g h i but not x y z or something like that you know some weird condition so in that case you would have to write a lot of case when statements so what is the better way to do this here to make your solution even more generalized you can adopt method 2 and that is what we are going to discuss in our video so what you can simply do is for every customer you can simply find out what are the different products that were bought by this customer id and get that in a particular row and how can you do that remember in our sql 50 in, in the later stages we learned about a function called group concat we can employ that here so let's see how we can do this also before you know going there since we also need the customer name so it is okay to you know perform a join of orders table as well as customer table before that if you want you can do it at the later stage also but what i like to do is you know have that at one place so that you know we can start building our logic so from this table called orders alias as o let me left join the customer table so let me just scroll it up so customers table earlier as c on c on o dot customer id is equal to c dot customer id and all i require from customers table is the name because i need that in our output so o dot asterisk so this means keep all the columns from the orders table and only keep the customer name from the customers table so c dot customer name let me go ahead and run this let's see we are having what we require right okay so if i look at our output so now we have order id customer id product name and customer name 
okay so now once we have this then we can start building our logic based on method 2 that we discussed here that is we can group by the customer id and group concatenate the product name so what i am saying is let's go ahead and from this right so this is what we have right now group by the customer id so group by the customer id is coming from the orders table so o dot customer id and then you return o dot customer id and then group concat group concat and then we want distinct products right we want distinct products arranged in increasing manner so that you know it's easier for us to filter so distinct product name and this should be order by product name in increasing manner right so by default it arranges in increasing manner and let me alias this as products bot okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now here if we look at it so this is exactly the same thing that we were trying to get right so one two three four and what are the different products this person has bought so once you have this then it is quite simple from here right so here you can say that okay once you have this you keep only those rows where your products bought has a and b in them but does not have c in them right so that means the person has bought a and b but not c how can you do this so having right having this products bought right so products bought like so it should be a and b and since we have already arranged in increasing manner so it will start with a and b so a and b should be next to each other so a and b is like a comma b and then after this it can be anything right let me go ahead and run this let's go step by step here okay so if i look at it so a and b have been bought by two customers one and three then we also need to make sure that products bought is not like so there is no c in them that is when you are going to recommend that person if the person has already bought c then what is the use of recommending him right so and products bought products bought is not like and then percentage c so anything before this or after but c should not be there if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so now in our output we have the perfect customer id that we want in our output right and uh, these are the products the person has bought but we do not need the products bought we need the customer id and the name of the customer okay another question that might arise like why are we using having clause here didn't we learn in sql 50 that having is used when we are filtering based on an aggregate and here it seems like it is better to use where clause no you remember here you are doing a group concatenation having is used when you are filtering based on an aggregate value and here you have aggregated right so all the products that were bought you are aggregating using group concat right so that is why having works here right remember that see how the concept that we built in sql 50 are being utilized here one after the other so if you have not watched that sql 50 i've highly recommend you to do so before you know jumping on the advanced sql 50 so yeah once we have this then since in our output we need the customer id and the customer name so obviously you know instead of having products bought you can simply replace this products bought with this entire thing because in our output you only need that right so what we can do is instead of this let me just cut this entire thing right what kind i can basically do is here i can just simply paste it here right and again simply do it here as well right so that this will free up this part and here i can simply go ahead and return the name of the customer right so name of the customer is going to be c dot customer name also remember we learned about this in group by we are not grouping by this customer name right so here you need to add, add that in your group by as well right so if this is more confusing to you then i would suggest do not do this join here 
have everything ready for orders and at the end join this customer table on customer id columns from both of this that would be easier to understand right okay let me go ahead and here we need the customer id column as well okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so if i drag it above so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it yes kind of a tricky question and here you have to use your brain to you know think about various concepts firstly you know firstly you need to perform a join then you group by and then you ha also have to you know make sure that you know that for every customer id and customer name what are the different products that were bought so we use group concatenate and return distinct product names sorted in ascending order and then we made sure that the person has bought a and b but not c and why we are using having in this case because we are here we are actually filtering based on a aggregate value so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video